All right, today I'm gonna give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Hot Toys Iron Man 2 Mark II from Iron Man 2 Mark II, and uh, here's the outer sleeve. As you can see, uh, it uh, slides in from the side this time around, and uh, here's the box with the figure and the back. People that worked on this uh, figure, nice. Now let's get the figure out of the box. Alright, if you plan to pick this up, uh, you will notice that uh, he comes with somewhat a lot of stuff and uh, uh, he's actually pretty heavy. Not because of the figure or the accessories, it's because of this uh, cardboard table that he comes with. It makes it really, really heavy and uh, this box is pretty hefty. And um, I took the liberty of putting the legs on him already and uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's get him out. Alright, and here he is uh, outside of packaging, and uh, chest piece is on, the bicep pieces are on, and uh, the clean legs are on, and uh, here's the really nice uh, light up stand, light up base, and there's a rod in the back to make him stand up, and a clamp for his waist. And this is what he looks like with all the lights on. Uh, head, there's a light. Arc reactor chest, there's a light. And then uh, palms, two lights. Base, there's a light. And uh, even these uh, mechanical boots, them too got lights underneath. So that's kind of nice. The arc reactor is really bright. That light is really, really bright. Alright, let's turn the lights off. And here are the accessories that he comes with. We have a Don Cheeto head sculpt with the faceplate. And then we have a hollow head with the neck piece attached. And another faceplate two fists and two boots and the figure itself there's the nice looking base and the very very impressive Iron Man Mark II I like the sculpt of this one I think it's uh, it's definitely not a reissue of uh, another head sculpt uh, well it might be I'm not sure but uh, it feels like a different head sculpt because uh, he looks more accurate to me especially from the side here you can tell it looks very accurate and uh, I never did notice the back the back of his neck that that section it's never been smooth though I didn't think it was smooth before and uh, there's the switch for for his eyes and uh, I didn't I didn't put the flaps on him so that's why it looks like he's missing something back here and uh, if you want to turn on the the palms the legs for the palms are his uh, inner 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 arm there right there there's a switch there's also a switch right there And uh, good thing that this one doesn't come with those uh, flares, because uh, those are a pain. Those were a pain in the butt to to push back, because uh, they always stick out. Uh, let's open up this uh, calf muscle here. All right, when you lift up this uh, calf muscle piece, uh, you'll see the inner workings of this uh, leg. It's kind of cool, same thing for the other leg. And as far as articulation, uh, the head is on a ball joint, but it is very limited. Uh, so basically you can only do um, a swivel, because uh, that ball joint is so far up there that uh, you can't really have them look up or down. And then uh, shoulders are ball jointed, then uh, hinge elbows and uh, ball jointed wrists. But uh, again, it's a very limited articulation because um, 
because the socket and the and the joint, the ball joint itself. And uh, articulate the fingers. And then there's no chest articulation at all for this one, which I don't really mind because uh, I don't plan on giving this guy really too many dynamic poses, but uh, he can swivel a little bit uh, around the waist and the ball jointed hips. And then the thighs, there's a swivel joint. And then uh, <clears throat> as far as the legs, there's a hinge joint right there. Down here is a ball joint. Uh, to connect your boot, there's a ball joint here, but uh, it tends to pop out if you um, try to pull his leg back too far. And then uh, this, I believe, is a ball jointed uh, ankle and uh, a foot. There's a, um, a, uh, a hinge joint in the toe area. All right, as far as the lower leg. Uh, Basically, there's this piece which houses uh, inside this boot here, as you can see right there. And uh, there are clamps on here. If you unhinge them, you'll be able to open up the boot like so. There are a lot of intricate details on this boot. They are really, really intricate. It does look amazing. Some of the piston can can actually move, but not all of them. Like this one in the front here, yeah, it can move. Same thing for the side. Let's look at the front. There's the front of the boot. And there's the back. And I really like how they added uh, an actual working light bulb underneath here as well too. And there's a switch and I think the front here is where you put the batteries. And there you go, right there. And uh, make sure you don't lose these clamps, otherwise uh, the boots, these boots will, will not be able to close together properly. One last look at the boots. Right. And uh, the table is uh, pretty much constructed with uh, three pieces. Uh, there's one piece right there. And the other piece right there and then you have the top and basically you just lay it on top and there you have the table all right and here's what the suit looks like on the table you got some of these uh, extra pieces and we have the headless helmet and we took off the chest piece which is right there and there's the visor I mean, there's a uh, face plate, and then we have the bicep pieces. We have one right here, and the other one right there. And we attach both of the legs, the lower legs, on him. So now, there's the autopsy scene from the movie. There we go. Top to bottom. And uh, the chest piece, I mean the the abdominal uh, abdominal area, it's actually hard plastic this time around. It's not rubber, but uh, the crotch piece is rubber. And there you go. And uh, the table does have some uh, markings on it. I guess that's the two from Iron Man Two. No, and this I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna see something. But there you go. And uh, again, this is a very, very impressive piece. Uh, very nice uh, display piece as well. So yeah, look at that. 
but uh, I am probably gonna display him standing up along with uh, my other Iron Man figures and then let's put the Don Cheeto head sculpt in there and here we have the Don Cheeto head sculpt looks good and there's the face plate right there and uh, let's take a closer look at the inner workings of this suit I mean of course uh, none of these parts are moving parts but still look nice and uh, there's the arc reactor Ooh, too close there we go looks very very impressive too bad it doesn't come out though it would it would have been nice if it actually comes out but oh wow there's the bicep area and uh, that uh, bicep piece uh, just pegs on there and uh, oh this thing could open up too and here it is the forearm all opened up and the two missiles are right there but they're pointing down right now huh? yeah pretty cool all right, and here we have the size comparison between uh, Mark III, the original Mark III, and uh, uh, the reason I'm comparing the Mark III with the Mark, the new Mark II, is because uh, the original Mark II uh, was based off of this Mark III, because this was the first uh, Iron Man figure that came out. So the difference uh, from what they did back then to now, it's uh, it's uh, quite good actually. Um, the abdominal area it's a little wider and uh yeah the waist is definitely a little bit wider and uh it's not made out of rubber anymore and uh other than that um i see similarities between the two but i do see differences as well uh, the thighs looks to be a little bit wider as well and overall the legs are pretty much the same uh, looks like uh yeah it does look pretty much the same uh, construction I think the, the new one of course is a little bit better and uh, the heads, uh, the helmet it's uh, definitely a bit uh, it's similar but uh, it's definitely different it's definitely different um, especially the chin area you see uh, this one is not as wide while this one has a wider chin and uh, if you look straight on uh, you can barely see his ears and this one you can see some of it and uh, if you look at them sideways, uh, you notice the head sculpt, uh, the helmet is definitely different. Uh, this one looks uh, way more movie accurate. All right, and uh, looks uh, it looks like uh, the heads, the face sculpt, are different too. This one definitely looks a lot more like Don Cheeto than this one. Yeah, if you look at this, definitely see Don Cheeto right there. And this one is just an African-American dude, looks like. I mean, he kind of looks like Don Cheeto a little bit, but this one definitely looks a, a bit better. Cool, I thought they used the same head sculpt, but I guess they didn't. The face sculpt. I guess they didn't. They improved upon what they did back then. Nice. Well, one last look at all three. We have Mark Three, Mark Two, and the War Machine. And the Mark Two is really shiny. Uh, looks like they use a uh, chrome on this guy. It would have been better if they do the reflective chrome. Uh, that would have looked um, absolutely uh, just like how it did in the movie. This one uh, you could you couldn't see you couldn't really see a reflection off of it but uh, the one they used in the movie uh, you could actually see a reflection off of it but uh, they did a really really good job with this I'm very happy with it and uh, would I recommend this figure yes I would definitely recommend this figure because it is very nicely done uh, you get you get a lot of accessories uh, two bases uh, one is the regular base and this one is the light up base and uh, some accessories and a table so uh, you are getting your money's worth 
but um, uh, this is more for people who are uh, completists because uh, if you don't already have the Mark II this would be a uh, no-brainer for you but uh, if you're looking to get one Iron Man uh, I would say wait for the Mark 7 because that's the the latest and greatest I guess and uh, but uh, by far this is uh, this is not my favorite Iron Man suit uh, my favorite is still Mark 1 uh, that would be the one to get uh, and, uh, and that one is coming out again so uh, take advantage of that if you're looking to buy an Iron Man suit uh, Mark 1 is my favorite and uh, if you are just an average Hot Toys collector then uh, yeah get the Mark 7 when it comes out and uh, also if you could yeah get the War Machine but this should be pretty expensive now because uh, a lot of people thought they were going to make a uh, battle damage war machine uh, with uh, different parts you could replace and stuff like that but uh, apparently they're not going to do that but uh, I heard they are doing a um, uh, racing suit uh, Tony Stark but uh, that's been pushed back to next year or something but yeah so there you have it thanks for watching